Uh, so the first structure is if. So this is a this the the if combined with else allows you to test logical conditions and to let the R program do something give whether or not depending on whether or not that condition is true or false. So if the condition is true, uh, then you do something. Uh, else you do something else. That's a typical kind of construct. Uh, the else part is optional, so you could just have an if statement to do something if something is true. Um, but you can have the else part uh, if you want to do something alternatively. Uh, if you want to do more, if there's more than one possible type of condition you can check, you, you want to check, you can say if and then else if uh, and then else. Uh, else if, there can be any number of else if conditions uh, in a construct like this, um, and the else one has to be at the end. So um, there are a couple of different ways uh, that you can formulate the if else construct in R. It's a little, this is a little bit different from other languages, um, in case you haven't seen something like this. So the first is pretty standard. Uh, if x, if the con, if sorry, if the symbol x uh, is greater than three, then you select you set y equal to ten. Uh, if it's not greater than three, then you set y equal to zero. Um, so that's inside the if else construct. There's there's an assignment of y to a specific type of value depending on what the value of three of x is. Um, but however, in R you can do it a different way. You can say y is equal to the entire if-else contract. So if x is greater than 3, 10, or 0, depending on whether that condition is true or not. So this is a valid um, formulation also. Sometimes it's, it's, it's useful to read this type of uh, writing because it allows you to realize that the entire if-else construct is all about assigning a value to y. Uh, so, th as I said before, the else clause is not really necessary. You can always test a condition and do something, and do and then do nothing if that condition happens to be false. Um, so, you can, and you can just test multiple conditions in a row if you want.